It's the deadliest Ebola outbreak the world has seen. And with hundreds of health workers dead, it's set to get worse. But Africa is answering the call for help. Meet 40-year-old David Wasambla. When Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta called for volunteers, this Nairobi doctor didn't hesitate. I asked myself about two weeks ago, what if it was us who had Ebola, God forbid, what if Ebola was in Kenya and ravaging us as it's doing in West Africa? Wouldn't we be praying for someone to look at us and say, you know what, let me go and help her? But it's certainly not an easy choice. His immediate concern was for his wife and two young children. It was a bit scary initially, but we talked through it. And the good thing, she's a nurse, so she understands all this. Uh, and, and she said, you know what, if you feel you need to go and help, and this is part of what we've been doing, we're humanitarians by nature. That's what we do as, as a family, that's what we do as, as, as the company we run and the charity trust that we run. And she said, you know what, do your thing. You go ahead and, and, and help our fellow Africans. Some concerns have been raised over a lack of Ebola-specific training. But David disagrees. That's what we were trained on as medical people, whether it's in the universities, in the colleges, uh, medical doctors, whoever it is that did medical training. We are trained on the basics of infection prevention. We are trained on the basics of infection control, trained on the basics of what to do in a scenario whereby uh, we would meet such, a, 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 such an incident. The next step is let get, get a refresher and specifically now what we need to do with Ebola. David is one of 315 health workers heading to Ebola-affected West Africa. They form the bulk of the 600 East Africa sending. Now, the response has been overwhelming. We are told by the Ministry of Health here in Kenya that over 100 healthcare workers, that is doctors, nurses, and clinical officers, have volunteered their services. Now, after training, they will have between 48 hours and two weeks in which to report to their new posts. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.